uh, what's the difference between isopropyl alcohol and ethanol? And as a chemistry student, so I draw it out and let them know. So ethanol, it looks like this. The structure is shorter. This is a one, two, three. This is one, two. And the condensed formula, it looks like this. It looks like a loud shape over here. And this is a straight chain. And it is a, like this one. There is some loud shape here. And this is quite a linear chain. And so we can see that this one is shorter. It has only one CH2. And the second one is a CH3. And this one, there is three repeating C. CH3, CH, CH3. And the length of the chain has the proportion to the boiling point and also the force of acting against them. So this chain is shorter. The intermolecular forces such as Van der Waal is shorter. So it has a smaller boiling point. And it also means that it can boil off faster and this one it is longer the intermolecular chain is larger but with the branching so the it affects a little bit the intermolecular forces and so that it has to close to this boiling point but it is still larger so it needs more heat a higher temperature to become gases. So from this, we can find out that ethanol, it will evaporate faster than this one IPA. So if you are using something for disinfecting against uh, COVID-19, which is proven by research paper, this research paper, ethanol and isopropanol inactivation of human coronavirus on heart surfaces it tested on an activated coronavirus and they find out that it is actually very helpful against against the coronavirus for both ethanol and IPA even at a short time but it is better to have anything with concentration above 62 uh, percent and it is better if it is getting higher and higher and this one it will evaporate off faster and leave the surface drier faster and this one IPA it might take longer time for the surface to get dry